One of the reasons I think there is so much sticker shock when it comes to the price of childcare is because people aren't used to actually paying for childcare. When we think back to the 80s and 90s, many of us were in the care of family. We were in the care of our grandparents or our aunts, whomever it might be. We typically had this village, this multi-generational family built around us that would care for the children. And while that wasn't true for everyone, there were kids in daycare, there were kids with nannies, that was true for a lot of people. And it's much less common these days. But when you do have it, it is a financial leg up on your counterparts. If you have a family member watching your children, it is a huge financial advantage. However, it is unpaid labor. Whoever's watching your kids, if they're doing it for free, that is unpaid labor and they are working and they are working hard for you. So it's important to be incredibly thankful for that because it is a huge huge privilege. But the reason I think people are so shocked by the prices is because if they've never had to explore them, if they've never had to pay for it themselves, then they don't realize that this is the cost. The cost to raise children these days typically comes with the cost of childcare, whether that's in the form of a nanny or in the form of daycare, part-time after school care, whatever it might be. It's all very expensive. People are also shocked to sometimes learn that there is not universal free pre-K and sometimes you still pay for kindergarten. Um, in my town, kindergarten was not free until last year. You had to get into a lottery for a full day and it wasn't free. Um, even in my town now, I pay for the bus. We have to pay for the public school bus. Nothing is free these days, but if you don't know that, then you don't know. 